Hello friends, so in this video I am going to show you how we can perform this generate bill operation. But we need to create two tables for it. So uh, you can see I am going to create table. First table is billing header and we need five columns over there. First one is ID, integer, primary key and then you need to give auto increment then we need full name we are here we are going to take 100 then we need build type we are here 50 then we need date we are going to take date over there and then after we need build number Here I am going to take we are here and 10. Now I, I am going to save. So you can see we have this table is ready billing header. Now we need to create one more table. And table name should be billing underscore details. So I am going to create billing underscore details and we need 8 fields over there. So 8 and now go here also we need first field is id 5 then primary key and we need auto increment then after we need bill id bill id we are going to take very here then after we need product company we are here 50 product name we are here 50 product unit we can take 20 then we need packing size so we are going to take very care 30 then after we need price we are 13 and then after we need qty we are here 10 and now we are going to save this table so you can see this table is also ready now we can write our code so first of all here we need after this date we need bill number so for that bill number we have to add text box over there Yeah, this is the date so now we can copy this and I am going to paste here name we are going to change here bill number right now we are going to keep this empty and this is also read only and here we are going to give heading bill number So now you can see we got here bill number but now we have to fill value inside that so for that we have to create one function but here we need to get our bill id so and then we have to create one function that i will show you bill id is equal to zero then See, let's start from billing header order by id descending and then limit one now here we need to move while loop while dollar o is equal to minus two life feature then dollar res and here 
dollar bill id is equal to dollar id but now we can see bill id right now we are going to take id so id is 1 2 3 4 but we need bill number in five digit so for that we need to create one function so for that here in last we are going to create in bottom of page we are going to create one function generate bill number and as a parameter we are going to take id now i am going to write here condition if dollar id is equal to is equal to empty then dollar id 1 is equal to 0 else dollar id 1 is equal to dollar id then dollar id 1 is equal to dollar id 1 plus 1 so if you pass inside this one inside this one then we are going to use it 2 now here dollar len is equal to we are going to take length length of id and then we are going to write condition like if dollar alien is equal to is equal to 1 then dollar id 1 is equal to 4 times 0 and then dollar id 1 so this way here 2 then we are going to decrease 1 digit Three, four, and now in last if five is it then directly id1 is equal to id1 and then here we are going to do return dollar id1 so our this function is ready now we have to call this function so let me call that function yeah here Standard bill number and here we have to pass dollar bill id so now we are going to check here you can see we got here bill number one so this way we have to generate bill number and now we have to perform this standard bill operation but before that we have to check the name we given so for full name full name is fine but for full name we need to give required so i give required then here build type here i am going to give build type header then name build date for build number we will give build number and now i am going to cut this form tag cut and inside this content i am going to paste and we are going to check where it is going to complete here so here we have to add slash form so i am going to cut this slash form and i am going to paste here okay we have here input type submit also value here i am going to give name submit one and now we can write the code so let me minimize these all the functions
okay so now we can write here if he said the underscore post here submit one and i am going to write here echo hello this is for testing only so now Yeah, you can see we got here hello. It means this is working fine. So now we can start our coding. So now you have to write first of all insert query. So I'm going to declare one variable last last build number is equal to zero. Then We are going to save data inside build header table which we create right now. So the link here insert into building header then values and we need to pass go to check number of columns. Mm. Yeah, we have five columns. So here, null, second, third, fourth, and fifth one. Dollar post. We have to take here full name and post. Build type header. build date and here build number and now or die so now we are going to check this first this is working fine or not so just going to refresh here yeah, i'm going to write yes and etc etc now generate build so we are not getting any error so we are going to check here we are getting values or not yeah you can see we got this value so now i am going to empty this table so operation and i am going to empty this table so this is fine now whatever id is generated we have to get that id so for that we need to write select query so mysql i query then dollar link and here we need to pass select query so select star from million under order by id descending and limit one then while mysql i phra and dollar res last bill number is equal to dollar row id so now we have last bill which is generated now you can see you have to open this load billing products and we are going to copy these things copy this maths paste here and now this is not yeah from this for up to here so going to copy this and going to paste here now we are going to check curly bracket is okay or not no one curly bracket is missing so i am going to add one curly bracket and now after copying these things I am going to empty these things and now here we have to write insert query
bill in details and we need to pass eight parameter so this is the first parameter then second third fourth fifth sixth seven eight here last bill number dollar company name session then product name session then dollar unit session packing size price session and here we need to pass qty session and then after here we need to write or die mysqli underscore error then dollar link so this is done here and now we have to unset our session so chart then we need to write your script type that javascript alert will generate it successfully and then we are going to refresh the page so window.location.href is equal to window.location.href but here in startup we need to do session start ok so this is fine now we are going to check here I am going to write my name then cash and etc etc now we are going to add one more item so right now we have two items now I am going to click generate bill Bill generated successfully, page is refreshed and for new bill you can see new bill number is generated. Now we are going to check here billing header. We can see we got this detail. This is the ID. This ID here in billing details you can see as a bill ID. So here also we are getting proper values. So this way we generated this bill, sales product bill. You can see this was very big form but step by step we complete everything in this bill thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it share it and subscribe it thank you so much again